Hi, my name is Lies Lotte Swager and I'm a research fellow at the Amsterdam UMC. Hello, my name is Barbara Bastiansen. I'm a gastroenterologist here. We would like to thank Endoscopy for this opportunity to discuss our recently published original article entitled Endoscopic Full Thickness Resection of Colorectal Lesions Results from the Dutch Colorectal EFTR Registry. Yes, so endoscopic full thickness resection is a relatively new endoscopic resection technique for complex colorectal lesions. With the advantage of enabling a safe transmural resection, EFTR can offer a minimally invasive alternative to radical surgery for lesions considered incurable with conventional endoscopic resection techniques like EMR or ESD. So, since the introduction of the full thickness resection device in 2015 in the Netherlands, we started a multi-center nationwide perspective registry of all performed colorectal uh, EFTR procedures to monitor patient outcomes and increase further knowledge on this new technique. This study aims to report the clinical outcomes from the Dutch colorectal EFTR registry regarding uh, feasibility and safety. Yes, yeah, so in total we included 367 procedures and indications were difficult polyps, meaning non-lifting lesions or polyps located in difficult anatomic locations like growing into the appendiceal orifice and we included primary resection for suspected T1 colorectal cancer as well as secondary resection after previous incomplete resection for low-risk T1 CRC and finally we included sub-epithelial lesions. So the main findings of our study were an overall technical success rate of 84%, meaning a microscopic and block resection. Our zero and full thickness resection rate was achieved in 83% of all procedures. And in about 6% uh, EFTR could not be performed because the lesion could either not be reached or retracted into the gap. In terms of safety, we found an overall adverse event rate of 9.3%, of which 2.7% were classified as severe. So, Barbara, do you want to comment about our findings of adverse events? Uh, yes, of course, like you said, we did find an overall adverse event rate of around 9%. Of course, the majority were only classified as, as mild or moderate. Uh, the most feared complication is, of course, a delayed perforation. And we did find a delayed perforation risk of around 1.6% in total. And uh, mainly these concerned lesions removed in the left-sided colon. Now, we believe of course, owing to the partial wall excision, uh, relative stenosis can occur at the level of the clip. And as fecal content and pressures are, are higher in the left-sided colon, uh, we think that these high pressures can contribute to, um, to tissue rupture from the clip. So I think an important recommendation to make is uh, that we think that prescribing post-procedural uh, uh, laxatives uh, are important to decrease those pressures and uh, might help to reduce uh, the, the risk of this feared delayed complication. I think that's a very important recommendation to make. And Lieselot, what do you think is the strength of, of this study? So our study includes a large number of patients and the Dutch registry started in a strong and transparent collaboration of 20 non-academic and academic hospitals and represents a good overview of EFDR for colorectal lesions in real life daily clinical practice. Yeah, so in conclusion, uh, we believe that EFTR is an exciting and innovative endoscopic resection technique that is clinically feasible and safe for complex colorectal lesions uh, with the potential to avoid surgery. Of course, we do ne need further efficacy study, uh, studies. EFTR is promising as a primary and secondary resection tool for T1 CRC. However, we need more data on both short and long-term oncological safety. So uh, finally, we want to thank all members of the EFTR working group uh, that have helped to carry out this study. And we want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you have any remaining questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. So for now, goodbye, goodbye from, from Amsterdam. Amsterdam.